I'm Allison Singer. I am the co-founder and president of the Autism Science Foundation. And I got involved in autism advocacy really from the time I was born because I have an older brother who's diagnosed with autism. And then later when I had my first daughter, she was also diagnosed with autism. So I've been part of the autism community for my entire life. The Autism Science Foundation is a not-for-profit organization that raises funds specifically to fund autism research. We provide funding directly to scientists who are working in the areas of genetics, biomarkers, and treatment, and we also work with them to help disseminate their research uh, because research that no one knows about is not very useful to anyone. Back in the 1960s, when my brother was diagnosed, there was no autism research. Uh, he was diagnosed in 1968, and at that time my mother found the one autism research project that was being done in New York. It was being done at Bellevue Hospital by Dr. Magda Campbell. And, and at the time, that was the only way to get any treatment. There was absolutely no treatment. There was no ABA, there was no early intervention, there was no IDEA law, so there was absolutely nothing to protect anyone who had a, di a developmental disability. They had no really even right to go to school. It was considered that they were uneducatable, and so there was no need to send them to school. So the only way to actually get any treatment or any intervention was to, become, was to try to find a clinical trial. So my mother found the one that was taking place in New York with Dr. Magda Campbell at Bellevue Hospital. And my brother was enrolled in that trial from the time that he was four to until he was six, at which point he aged out. And after that, there was literally nothing. And um, unfortunately, my brother was institutionalized uh, at Willowbrook and had a terrible experience. Um, I think we all know what happened at Willowbrook. But fortunately now, there are laws in place uh, to protect people with individuals who have disabilities. And there's the IDEA law so that they can go to school uh, and have as happy a life as possible. My brother's now in a great group home in New York, and he is uh, learning new things every day. I think there are so many goals that we have for autism research. One is really to move along this continuum of using the genetics work that we've done to create new models and develop new targeted treatments that can help real people. The reason to study genetics is to really understand the underlying proteins that are associated with the genes that are implicated. So if there's a deletion or a duplication in a gene, what are the proteins that are affected? And how do the absence or the overproduction of those proteins affect behavior? So what we can learn from the genetics work is really um, to try to come up with compounds that can either upregulate or downregulate those proteins so that we can return the function that is disrupted uh, by the duplication or the deletion of the genes.